Hi everybody, I'd like to welcome Mona Parekh back to T4LT. Mona is a math instructor in the distance learning department here at Kirkwood Community College. In her role, she has been integral to the new prep for college math course, particularly for distance learning, but also for face-to-face -face sections. This prep for college math is a new developmental math course at Kirkwood that replaces the traditional elementary and intermediate algebra courses. Uh, it is based on the Emporium model of instruction in which students work at their own pace through a series of computer delivered modules. Anything else you want to add to that uh, definition or description? Well, there's um, 12 modules, actually 13 because we split seven into two different modules, 7A and 7B, and um, students work at their own pace, which is absolutely correct. And um, they have to complete at least four modules uh, this semester to receive a passing grade. And that's it. Well, it's nice because it's student directed and um, they're able to work, you know, work um, as fast or slow as they need with their material. So sometimes, you know, they'll get through a particular chapter in a regular traditional face to face and they may pass it. And what happens is they've got holes in their knowledge and they're passing past, you know, the next test and the final exam. And then they get to intermediate algebra and all of a sudden they're found out that they don't know a whole lot and they're not able to pass out intermediate algebra because there's some information that they're not able to recall because they haven't learned it in elementary. This particular model um, prevents that. They can't move to the next module until they have successfully passed it with an 80 percent or better. And how are students doing in this model? Are they taken to it or are they struggling a little bit? So they're taking to it. I think uh, students do like this model. Um, there are certain modules where it's a little bit more challenging for them. Uh, for example, module six, uh, when you're dealing with graphing and linear equations um, on the Cartesian plane, I think it's a bit tricky for them to be able to put several ideas together, slopes, uh, y-intercepts, x-intercepts, and to be able to fit together uh, diff different mathematical ideas. Uh, but that's why the teacher is also in the room. They're not doing this alone. That they are, you know, teachers are they are available to help facilitate through some of these modules. Right. So the Emporium model it does set itself up so that the teachers are there to help when students have questions. Yep. Um, you've also kind of set this up for our online courses, our online uh, department. Yes. How has that? changed the model in some ways uh, is it um, mm -hmm. are, since you're not there obviously in the room with them what kind of things do you find necessary to do in order to meet their needs when they run into problems so the online students for the most part they're taking um, they're taking on their own problems I mean and they're facilitating themselves I give them the resources and where to you know get their answers but um, for the most part, I've run into maybe three or four students who say, could you please explain this to me? And I've been happy to do that with using the LiveScribe pen um, and meeting with them. So asking them to come to campus or uh, vice versa. I go to any one of the Kirkwood sites. Um, but it's, it's been challenging as far as, um, because I don't get to meet the students. It's kind of tricky that way. But you can handle it over the phone, maybe? Yes, or absolutely. So over the telephone, through Adobe Connect, and uh, using this pen. Excellent. What kind of success stories have you had or reactions to the, the new course, the new setup? So a couple of students uh, that bring to mind um, success stories are ones that are doing it online, which is nice because they work at their own pace, and they have busy schedules. They have full-time jobs. They have families. So they're able to fit this math uh, when they need to. And what's nice about this particular model, which is through Hawks, is that they can take their lessons um, when they have the time to do it. Um, they have an instruct um, mode, and then after they get the instruction and all the information to learning a particular section topic, and then they go straight to practice and practice a bunch of problems when Hawks also um, calculates how they're doing in practice. and 
after you've completed so many, then you can go straight into certify. You can even skip out of practice. If you yourself, if the student feels very confident about the particular uh, math section, they can just go straight into certify, which is a homework assignment, and complete it as well. So you don't have to go through as many practice things if you already have that right. skill set mm -hmm. and kind of jump through. And what's nice about this PCM model is that students can complete a module in many different ways. Um, for example, one is just a pretest immediately out if a student looks at module one, which is basic math, you know, whole numbers, adding, subtracting, you know, um, they're saying, oh, well, I kind of know this. They'll do the review and go straight to pretest and pretest out. Now, if they get 80% or better, fantastic, they move to module two. If they don't, they, um, we recommend that they complete some of the homework assignments and see exactly where they made their mistakes um, and certify for those homework assignments and then post-test. And post-testing, you know, um, they just have to get 80% or better. And when they complete that, then they have to complete another item of requirement, which is concept questions. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you work on certain problems, yes. you take a test on those problems. As soon as you meet the outcomes, 80% or better, then you get to pass on to the next section. Yes. Great. So what, um, what's uh, Hawks like? I mean, is it a computer adaptive system? Is it, is it delivering harder questions as a student uh, attains the easier concepts? Or is it always just uh, kind of randomly selecting questions for the students? So they're randomly selected questions, but um, they progressively get harder as you pass through modules. Um, and students always have the resource of the teacher and also the videos, which uh, Hawks also provide. Excellent. So what, uh, what are other instructors saying about it? Is it uh... So there's a lot of inst instructors out there, adjuncts full-times, um, who are immediately uh, involved in this particular model and I think um, because there's so many different ways that you can complete a module you really can't explain this until you've experienced it and so um, I mean one way is to pretest out another way is to post test um, with just a quick review or post test with a bunch do all the certifies the homework assignments another way is to do the quizzes you know there's different ways in which you can move from module to module. And I think that's where it gets a little bit confusing. And unless you experience it first, um, you really don't grasp the intensity behind it. But it's very student oriented. I, and um, I don't know, I like it. And you came into this model kind of after it had already been established, mm -hmm. uh, set up here at Kirkwood. Uh, what were your thoughts going back to that time? Obviously you have great experience with it now and you understand kind of the ins and outs of it. But going back to that time, what was your initial kind of response to the the idea? There was just a lot of puzzle pieces and trying to put them all together um, in some cohesive uh, thought process was a, was a little daunting at first because there's just all these different modules and all these different math topics and how they were split up and then how students can complete things at different rates. And so you become more of like a facilitator, a guide, a manager. Um, and also a teacher. So you're putting on a whole bunch of different hats rather than a typical face-to-face, -face, you're the teacher, sage on stage type um, scenario. Nice. Well, thanks for putting on a hat of interviewee today yes, and thank you. helping put the pieces of the PCM puzzle together for us. Thank you.